In this lecture, I'm going to explain where to get more resources for this course, if necessary. This course has a time limit through no decision of my own, but luckily, I've already created many resources that you can make use of for free. To get to these resources, you'll want to go to lazyprogrammer.me slash numpy. So what can you find here? First, everything we do in this course will be in Google Colab. I assume that you know how to use a web browser since you are taking this course and that you know how to make a Google account and all that sort of stuff. In case you don't yet know how to get Google Colab, I have a video on how to set that up with your Google account. So if you scroll down here and go to Environment Setup in Colab, that's where that is. In addition, if you want to install Python and all of the associated libraries on your local machine, then I have a lecture for that too. This works whether you are on Windows, Linux, or Mac. But I focus mostly on Windows in this lecture, since Windows users seem to have the most trouble with installing things. Today, I would personally recommend using Anaconda on all platforms, since they seem to have worked out some kinks that would give people problems in the past. You should make use of virtual environments, since this will allow you to install specific versions of libraries and even specific versions of Python. There are other resources here as well. One question I get on almost a daily basis is, what order should I take your courses in? Or what order should I learn different machine learning topics in? And those questions are answered through these lectures with exactly the title, what order should I take your courses in? And also, since there is no Q&A for this course, you can make use of a forum I've set up so that students can ask questions or share their thoughts about the course. This is located at forum.lazyprogrammer.me. I would strongly recommend making use of the forum to ask questions if you encounter any obstacles while you're taking the course. Next, I want to mention that this course will have a code along format. That means you are strongly encouraged to put your hands on your keyboard and type the things I show you. This is not the type of class where you should download a notebook and look at it and hit the play button. That is even worse than useless because you are simply wasting your time. In fact, in none of my courses would I ever encourage you to not code. On the other hand, the material in my other courses is complex enough that coding along does not make sense. And so I don't want you to get accustomed to coding along, since this is the only class of mine where you should actually do that. If you're interested in learning more about why that is, I would recommend watching this lecture, Should You Code Along? Now that being said, if you want to have a look at the existing notebooks I've written for this course, they can be found on the same page. Obviously, the title in the notebook that you see in the lecture videos will be the same as the title for these links. But again, try to code by yourself and don't just copy code or stare at code. 